Now in this next part we're asked to show that the line L intersects the curve then C at the origin 0, 0 and at this point here 4, 8. So in order to do that what we've got to do is consider simultaneous equations. So I'm going to lead off then with a little subtitle here which is at the point of intersection what we know is that the y values would be exactly the same and that would mean that 2x would equal 6x minus x squared. So I'll write that in then that 2x must equal 6x minus x squared. Now we have a quadratic equation and like all quadratic equations it needs to be rearranged to make it equal to 0. So if I add x squared to both sides I'm going to have x squared and if I subtract 6x from both sides, 2x minus 6x is minus 4x, and that's going to leave me with 0. Next, I need to factorise this, so I put out x as a common factor, and I have x minus 4 inside the brackets, and that equals 0. So next, either factor would equal 0, so that would lead to x equals 0, or if x minus 4 equals 0, that would lead to x equals 4. So, now I know that I have my x values, and I know that y always equals 2x. I can say that since y equals 2x, mind you, I could use this equation just as easily, but I prefer to use this one because it's simpler. All I've got to say is that when x equals 0, the first value here, substituting it into here, I get that y equals 2 times 0, which will be 0. And also, when x equals 4, I can substitute x equal to 4 into here, and you can see that y equals 2 times 4, which is clearly 8. So, Therefore, just in summary, I can say that L intersects C, intersects C at the origin, 0, 0, and at 4, 8. And that brings us to the end of this part of the question.